Ooh, okay, how so how this game works? Yeah, so it's person is right inspired. So essentially, uh, let me give you a good example. We'll do craft peanut butter. So craft peanut butter in 2018, 500 grams of craft peanut butter was roughly three dollars. Not sure that's the camera there. Okay. No. Oh, it was what? Sorry. Three dollars seventy-seven cents. Okay. So does anybody want to guess what it was? You said it was five hundred or five hundred grams. Okay, I'm gonna guess eight or nine dollars for twenty dollars in 2022. And so you're going to guess 8 or $9 for 2020? I actually agree with that because I love peanut butter. Yeah, same. And whenever I see it, I'm like, holy shit, it never yeah. used to be like this. Okay. <laughs> what do you think it is? Uh, I would have said like 7 to 8. 7 to 8? Yeah, I think 8 is like a safe Julia? number. It's peanut butter. What do you think it cost in 2020 versus 2020? Okay, so you're all wrong. That's about five dollars. We're all wrong. Well, yeah, you're right. Four forty seven. Yeah. What? Four forty seven. No. And 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 this is how I got my numbers, y'all. I archived two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> Look at that. Flyers. No frills flyers. Okay, I got ripped off. Twenty twenty like... and twenty twenty three. No frills. Wait, wait, hold, what do you mean by you archived? I archived them, so I went all the way back to their archives. <laughs> oh, that's and a dedication. I, Thank okay. you. Look at that. So I want because I knew you were gonna ask. I'm gonna need links. I'm gonna need proof. So I got That's my amazing. proof. Amazing. <laughs> what is this? What? <laughs> this is it's cut off. Yes, I know, <laughs> but you can see the 377. I don't believe you. This is not factual. Okay, and now moving on to 2023. What did you guys think that peanut butter was in 2023? Well, now I don't. Oh, know. Oh, I thought we were answering <laughs> 2023. Oh, same no. here. She was, she was, oh. I got she was confused. Asking during COVID. During COVID. Now. During okay. 2020. Okay, I changed my answer. So what do you guys think it is for now? For so now, that's big. my other answer. Yeah, yeah. eight sixty-five. Eight sixty-five. It's probably so around eight dollars. Eight or nine. Seven. Yeah. Four seventy-seven. It only went up. What? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. By how much? Okay. Besides yourself. That's it. I'm that's gonna it. call my. But you'd think it, it felt like more, right? Is a little this bit. Right? Just no frills, though. This was so. The reason I chose no frills because it was the most shopped. Yeah. Uh, it was the most shopped grocery train wow. in all of Ontario. I got a. So that's notes. why I took my my resource from all there. Right. Wow, um, so that's surprising. You'd think that people would say, oh, it must have gone up by 30%. But wow. People were assuming $8 or $9, you know, right? Yeah. So it's a little, yes. It's not even 10%. All right, so next one. Boneless chicken. In 2018, a pound of boneless chicken or boneless skinless chicken breast was $3.44. This one actually surprised me. What do you think it was in 2020? 99 cents. 99 cents. I don't know. I'm just being dramatic. This isn't the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you what do you, you want to bid? So wait, it was one dollar. One dollar. One pound? Yeah, for one pound. One dollar. In 2022. I'm, I'm guessing five dollars. All right, so what was the price? Origi don't don't let everyone kind of give an answer here. So what did you say the original price was? The original price was $3.44. This is before, this is 2018. This is 2018. $3 18, and what? Okay. And then $3.44. $3. Okay, so what do you think the price was in 2020? I'm gonna guess like four dollars. Okay. Two ninety seven. <laughs> four dollars and two cents. <laughs> you two were the closest. Four fifty. <laughs> no, three seventy seven. So during COVID, it actually only went up a couple cents, like twenty thirty cents. Wow. Oh. Okay, then how about twenty twenty three? Now twenty twenty three. What do you guys think? I think. So from three seven dollars. Seven dollars. Twenty twenty three, right? No. Five dollars. Yes. And twenty five cents. I say about four seventy five. I'd say five dollars. Five sixty five. You my god, it. it's five dollars. I should have stayed with five. Oh, five dollars. It jumped up. It jumped up, right? Yeah. So that's well, again. This is this is the the poultry of like can't, can't, whatever it is, right? For so the they, average they family, gouge, that's uh, for the average family. A pack of chicken breast for three seventy seven a pound is reasonable. You could feed and extend that that package. Yeah. Huh. When you're pushing it to four ninety nine a pound, you're you got to start feeding them dog food. Man, I've got a Costco membership, dog, and dog I go to <laughs> who's feeding their kids know, dog food. Friends. I don't know. I got a girlfriend of mine. She's got five kids, and it's at that point with groceries where she's gonna have to start. Isn't shaving. dog food expensive? Yeah, she, it depends. is. Yeah. You can get a big bag for like twenty dollars, though. The old Roy. That's that dry stuff. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right. So moving on to our third one here. So a one-bedroom apartment in Ontario mm -hmm. averaged oh. one thousand four hundred and forty-three dollars per month. What do you think it was in twenty twenty? What year was that? That was twenty eighteen. Thirteen fifty-ish. Thirteen fifty-ish. What was the price? 
1,443. One bedroom, right? Around 12. Around 12, yeah. Luma? Yeah, I'd say 1,250. Julia? Um, one bedroom apartment per month in 2018. I'd say about, about um, what's the original one? 14 something you said? 1,443. You're saying what was it in 2020? I actually when had COVID a one hit. bedroom in when that COVID year. Hit. Probably about 1,500. Correct. 1474. You guys were the closest. Ooh. But wow. in 2023, what, oh, what is it yeah. after? It is probably 1700. 1700 for a one bedroom, depending where. 1800. Actually, 1800. Around 2000. It really depends. The average in all of Ontario. Because oh, of the average Ontario. of all yeah. Ontario, oh. it makes it difficult. So I'm paying 16 something. So, so I'd say, you know, um, yeah, about 1800. 2000. Three hundred. That's a townhouse. Shit. Four dollars. What is what? what? I paid twenty five hundred dollars. Wait. So you're <gasps> saying from twenty twenty, it was fifteen hundred or fourteen seventy five, yeah. and it went to what amount now? Twenty what? How much? Two thousand three hundred sixty four. Again, That's I will send insane. you all my resource links. That's <laughs> they just want people to live I'm on less. the streets. That's gone up by eight hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In three years. How much was, is parking a included? A like. Month. <laughs> <laughs> That's over ten thousand dollars a year. That's yeah, disgusting. just your cost of living goes up. That in, was in one of the years. ones that I had to step back to my computer and literally go, okay, like, for one where person. Did I go wrong in life, one person, not even a family, not a roommate, yeah. so one, yeah. one or a person. couple, or a couple. There you go, so one bedroom, right? Okay. Sadly, but, even like a young couple with a kid would have that. Yeah. So moving on, wow. we've got gas prices. <laughs> Ouch. So in two thousand and eighteen, gas prices were roughly a dollar thirty six per liter. What do you guys think that they hit in 2020? I don't know. Oh, it depends on when in 2020, but if it's be, like after COVID or like during COVID, COVID. COVID started March of 2020. So during COVID, this is 90 cents, 95 cents. Actually, I agree with that. I'm going to, I can't have the same answer. So let's say like 96 cents. Well, it really fluctuated, <laughs> didn't it? Did a dollar 25 per liter. Yeah. I think the following year it went down to 90 cents. And then, oh, lovely 2023. And current, current as of yesterday. Okay, it's like okay. a buck fifty. Yeah, buck forty nine uh, or forty six, depending where. Wait, you're in Oakville. Oakville though. is always the I highest. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. 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 Oakville. in Hamilton, like a dollar eighty eight per liter. What? Where? Wow. And the average in all of Ontario. No, was yesterday. Hamilton. No. Average. No. Such no. Average. average. Oh. I don't know where it is a buck eighty in in Ontario because that's depressing. Probably like so. This is up the one north. that I found a little interesting, <laughs> kind of weird. All right, so in two thousand and eighteen, the average price of a vehicle was thirty eight thousand. Like if you're buying off the lot, brand new, not used. Okay, is thirty eight thousand six hundred seventy five dollars. Now during COVID in twenty twenty, what do you think it was? Twenty five hundred. <laughs> 38,000. I saying. know, I'm just being a dick. <laughs> You're being a dick? Uh, yeah. yeah. I kind of okay. moved away when I said She's that. She's a cactus <laughs> killer. <laughs> He's a dick, for sure. Um, Whatever. <laughs> so, it price, actually, what if I was right? <laughs> 36,000. God damn. I don't price? Go, oh, Luma? I was nowhere near a car in, in 2018. <laughs> Like, no, I took the bus everywhere. 2020. This Even is then. I'm going to say 30,000. 38,375. So it actually only, it went down by about $300. Wow. I think which they did have weird. like an overstock of cars. Which is weird, but that's what started happening because people couldn't afford to buy cars anymore. And mm -hmm. people were shutting down a lot of their businesses with cars and trading cars. And they weren't going to work. And they couldn't trade cars anymore internationally, right? Yep. yep. So then. 2023. 2023. That same vehicle that's 38,000. What's 45. it selling for? for? Yeah, that's what I would say. Let's say 40. Well, 43,000. 40. 37,655. How much? 37,655. It's gone down? It's gone down. I don't know where. I don't You're accused. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I will send it. everybody you know my what? links. You know what? You're probably right because it's the price of the used cars that's through the roof. Yeah, I'm I was so about to say, confused. what's the used car? Uh, yeah. My car's used. It was 9,000, but I had a ex who sold it to me for free. <laughs> and then and he didn't sell it to you. And back he just gave it, it to you. Was he crying when I he gave still, it to you? <laughs> it's like, okay, fine, I'll give you the keys. Yeah, I still Don't gave him some anymore. money. Okay, I'm a nice person, but yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, insurance rates. 
Uh, so in 2018, the average cost for vehicle insurance was $1,473 per the year. Okay. What do you think it was in 2020 during COVID? What? Sorry, 1000 uh, Per year. Per, per year. year. So per I year. keep messing those little bit. Per year, yes. <laughs> I'd say it probably went down a little bit, you know, but not drastically. It actually went up to $1,616 per year. These people weren't driving this so much? They need to make money, these guys, right? I mean, they started, they had to figure out a way, right? But no, the, the problem here is that there weren't a lot of accidents during that time, right? I think the, pro, the, 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 the reason they increased the rates, less people were buying cars. Thefts, car thefts, too. Oh, yeah. Car thefts went up oh, because yeah. people yeah. weren't paying, they didn't have money. Mm -hmm. And then in 2023, what do you think they all went up to? Over two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I'd probably say two thousand and one dollar. One thousand seven hundred and forty-four dollars. <laughs> that one person on the price is right, but just goes of insurance per year for vehicle insurance in Ontario. Wait, I am so depressed after this subject. Can I please get a happy one for next show? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't cry, Shia. Well, you know, wow. one thing as well. You have to realize that when it comes to cars specifically, the amount of vehicles that are stolen in Toronto is ludicrous. Like they have so many vehicles that get stolen here on a regular basis and they ship them off like to Africa. Well, it's organized I've crime. Seen, I've yeah. seen the coolest thing that people are actually doing and installing in their driveways now is like this little electronic pole. That comes up. That comes up yeah. and it's like, all they have to do is like flick it's a like switch Mario. and it it's like have yeah. fun. And then that way nobody can back their car out of the driveway because there's a big metal pole sitting. So yeah, steal my car, but you're just going to break the car in the process so everybody loses. Wait, am I understanding? Like you can insert like... like it's in the driveway. It's like weird. Oh, okay. So they have them in Europe everywhere, by the way. So a lot of the roads, when they close the road down, they have these, they're basically these, you know, fairly thick metal poles that come up about three feet and they have a switch that can make them go back down. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Interesting. So people have them installed now in their house, you know. But if you have insurance, let them steal your car. What do you care? Like, I don't know why people are like so attached with their car. A lot of people it. don't have insurance. You, know? you can't have a vehicle without insurance. It's illegal. Yeah, you, you can't. Some people can't. Oh, against honest, the law. I know that, but I know a lot of people that drive and grab that is insurance. And it's on them. Yeah. It's on them. But I know a lot like of people. Like if somebody was to hit you or you hit somebody, you're done. Rude. It's called like, driving away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, like, am I just that person? Sorry. Hit trailer run, oh, trash, gosh. but. I'm not saying I would do that. I'm just saying that that's the mentality of people sometimes. I saw that's a really video of up. someone who ran over a toddler and just kept driving. Actually, that did, I'm not that kidding you. That, as well. yeah, I was going to say, was this in China? No, where I saw it was in the U.S., I think. Or it might have even been here. But it was like in one of the Americas. <laughs> wow.